Welcome to the Creative Spaces Podcast with Guy Zwick and Scott Samil of Highway 85 Creative. In each episode, we will discuss creative ways to define your space and build your brand. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Creative Spaces Podcast. I am the co-host Scott Samil, joined by my pal, Guy Zwick. See that? Pretty good timing there. Today's show, I'm just going to jump right into this one because I think we were talking about it offline, and now that we're talking online... I'd like you to. Jump we do right. that a lot, people. We we talk a ton <laughs> offline and say, "Oh, that we." we yeah, the good we, stuff happens offline. So if you're listening, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're trying to we're trying to change that trend. But trends a good word here. So what we're talking about right now is trade show trends. Sounds boring, but hold on. There's a reason why we're talking about that, and there's a story behind why we're talking about that right now. So I'm going to flip the microphone to Guy. And talk. You said you had a visitor from Exhibitor Live coming. Yeah, here. yeah. We had the president, talking. Randy. He 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 had stopped by our place and uh, um, kind of inspired me because we've been attending the show and we're, go- we're we're attending it in a bigger way this year too. The but, Exhibitor Live show. Yeah, it's our own industry show. Right. Um, but you know, uh, some things that came from this show and in, in our discussions a couple hours together, um, I think could be happening in our and I know is happening for some of our clients at their shows or it could be trending in these ways and uh, maybe we just make some people aware of some things but so yeah hopefully. that show is trying to reinvent itself sure. it has been uh last year this year and I love it and uh, so they spend a lot of time getting uh number crunching and surveys they have really good response rates from the people that attend the exhibitor live um uh, for all the uh um vendors and uh what do you call them? Uh, trade show managers so, yeah, who, let who me, go for let certifications. Let me, let me, yeah, let, me, let me jump in just for one second. Okay. I think I'll, I'll try not to talk too much no, about No, no, this is, this is good. But basically, Exhibitor Live Show is the industry show for trade show managers and producers and events and vendors and everything that do with the, in, the trade show industry. This is, their, this is their big Super Bowl. So if yeah. you're hearing this and you don't know what it is and you're on our podcast, which means you're here for something trade click, show related, click, you click, better click, go yeah, check click, out Exhibitor we'll Live. Right. We'll, we'll yeah. include a link to the, to the writer. But basically, um, the, the president of the Exhibitor Live Show mm-hmm. came and visited you mm-hmm. and what he, he shared with you – a lot of information that he's been aggressive in trying to collect feedback, numbers, stats. Basically, he's trying to make his show the best it can be. And we have been making a splash. That's why he came. We have been making a splash. And Highway uh, 85 Creative is making a uh-huh, splash. And so, so, so he wanted to talk to you as one of the guy, one of the trailblazers of this. But his, exactly. The that was is, the whole point of seeing if us. If this is right? his show, he wants he wants to make it better. So he's asking the hard questions. And in your chat with him, you there's a lot of lessons learned. And yeah, that's just, what we're going to talk about right yeah, now. Well, yeah, uh, and, and not I, lessons learned, but some of the some of the oh, really? So some of the trends that are out there that we as event managers or you as event managers here's a simple one. Here's to. a simple one. You know, uh, I, I, I knew how many overall attendees there, and I had a, a warm and fuzzy of what I thought were vendors and what I thought were actual exhibit you know managers and. Um, and then just the industry people ourselves um, at the show. Well, he had those stats. And so getting those numbers from him were extremely helpful um, in knowing what my real targeted uh, exhibit manager number was out of that attendee thing. Okay. It's, it sounds something simple, but um, – But knowing that when you guys go to Exhibit Live this year. And then knowing how many of those in this case were newer, right. were brand new compared to you know on the – the legacy where they're they're, they're, they're sure. getting their platinum you yeah, know right, you know right. training um, was key too you okay. know and then he had some stats of what size programs they have right right and right. and and those stats are great to know too so I could now target knew the number I don't want to share it but the number of exactly how many potential prospects at that show that I really want to talk to okay and that finite number was not what I thought it was okay. Um, I want to get laser sharp, and that's who I'm talking to in my marketing message and, and what I'm doing with my booth and who I'm bringing. Okay. Um, and uh, it, was a, it was a little more vague. So you get those numbers. That, that, that's important. And one thing also that came out there is all this research that he's doing and going out and seeing people like me and, and, and surveying and, and, uh, and then finding out what's working with sponsorships. And is some of the uh, old – is uh, becoming new again. Yeah, what's old is new again. I like that. So give me an example of that. Um, yeah, well, a huge one is is uh, uh, pre-show postcard mailers. Really? Um, there's a real downtrend uh, of no one wants to open an email. Right. You know, uh, it, uh, from pre-show emails, uh, right. you know, to come see me. Right. But for some reason, 
They don't mind getting a packet and flipping through a cards and then bringing five or six cards with them and going to see those those people. Um, it's been hugely successful. Um, that, something that simple. I, I I'm, is it penetrates because less there's less coming in the mail. We all are. We all know that. I get less in the mail now than I used to. Oh, physically, yeah. No, that, that's th- so. It's a d- longer conversation, uh, maybe a different time. Mm-hmm. But what you're, and then I think it depends on the age group of the person that you're talking to. But in general. We are so overloaded with digital stuff. I can't, you can't consume as much. So right. all these emails, they're falling on dead. And what you're saying is this years before over-inundation of postcards, they're gone now. So when you get one in the mail now, it might, there's a chance you might even open it because it's a thing you can touch, right? That's mm-hmm. what you're so he's, yeah. he's found that as an example pre-show the, the, mailers yeah, are working the, the, yeah, in. Yeah, and some of the sponsorships that uh, uh, – it seemed like only the big, the big kahunas were, you know, doing uh, at 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 the shows and and have walked away from some of that. It's created more opportunities for some of the smaller players to come in, take a little budget, you know, have themselves on the elevator, for example. Let's just say it's a simple sponsorship right. like that, or, or 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 be attached to all the, you know, the the bar glasses at, at the event in that evening. But th- another really interesting thing I, I thought that came from this, and I've been seeing this in other shows, is this trend to try and push things off-site and do things outside of the show. Um, that happened in our industry show over the last, you know, seven, eight years. And I, it's interesting because I was noticing that everything had been coming back to the Mandalay Bay and we weren't having all these parties and these offshoot things happening. And uh, th- that trend, uh, it wasn't working, trying to, you know, be this distraction away from your competition in the, in the event. And uh, he, he, No, it marginalizes the energy because people it, are in a place exactly. for, for a reason, energy. right? And mm-hmm. it's like, and if there's, if there's this, like, it's a bad example, but I remember I used to, when I used to live in the Bay Area, you go to work and then I go work out. Or try to, but if there was like there was, if I couldn't find a parking space inside the place, I'm like, ah, I would just give up and go get McDonald's or something like that. <laughs> right. But the point is, if you have energy there, don't make people jump through hoops. Don't give them friction to get to the next space. It's like you know, just try to feed off that and maybe yeah. have a little thing that's. So you're saying every so bring off- some of your things you're doing outside and bring it closer to that event right. or your booth or right. you know, um, yeah, it's 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 paying benefits and you're, for and a lot that's an example that the exhibitor live fella randy you said his mm-hmm, name was mm-hmm. mentioned and you're saying that in other shows that you produce for clients you're starting to see the same thing right Where, yeah and they're collecting a lot of data from trade show managers right. too you know that's that's their job is to to be in the pulse of of our industry and, and get these stats and um you know hey i saw this stat maybe a month ago, but still by a landslide, a uh-huh. landslide. I don't remember what exact number, but let's just say 80% polled in this, like, I don't know, I can't remember how many people, but sure. Vegas is still the number one. We all say like, oh, Vegas, but it's the number one place that everybody wants to go to shows <laughs> as a location. That's not surprising to me. I and mean, it, 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 kills, surprising? it kills Chicago and Orlando and 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 the Javits Center, in New York, by a landslide, like it hands Kendrick, down. Orange County, it's not close. Sin right? City is is yeah, but it's it's, it's to the energy. It's to you're going to get away, and you know you want it. Yeah, I mean that's why this Phoenix is a, not the best place to have trade shows. Why do you say that? We're too spread out. We don't have enough hotels down there and space, in and, Phoenix, and yeah. you know people want to golf, and there's all this cool stuff to do in Scottsdale and, and, and in Glendale and it's in Tempe. Out, it? You're, right. We're just too spread out. Right. So and that happens all the time. Uh-huh. We had that solar show here. I mean, one getting rooms all over the place, but then all this stuff that it's too. It's yeah. It's it's the energy. It's, it's weird that you that say that though. Got, is, you know, because Vegas it, but, has got the energy. Well, for, Vegas is Vegas, but just real quick on Phoenix. I mean, this is a huge meeting and events. This is a huge um, tourism. You know, state a lot of uh, Scottsdale CBD. Yes. There's a, a lot of business. I'm talking traditional trade shows. It's still sure. a great place to have meetings and events. Meetings and, and events. Oh, but by a, far, a full on trade all show at a convention here. center. Oh, yeah. You're right, though. If you have like the the Phoenix Convention Center, so it's it's maybe a challenge for the folks here to maybe find ways to keep things more. But that's that's your point, though, because everything's so spread out. It's it's and and the trend is to have being, things be more close by, mm-hmm. right? Like, mm-hmm. you know, you go to Lodo. Denver or something. Everything's we, right there. Where did we start with this one? This was um, sort of trends. 
Oh, yeah. Trends. trends. And so you talked about post guards, you know, what's old is new again. Off-sites are more on-site. Um, and by the way, Vegas, surprising, shocker. It's still the number one place people want to go. Anything else? Any other tidbits that you want to share from that conversation yeah, with um, Randy? No. That, that if you're an event manager oh, that sorry. you can use maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah, Trend-wise, those, those, are, those are good? I think so. Yeah. Just uh, look at some of the old. The old. So, if, for example, mm-hmm. if a client comes to you and said, yeah, we just – I want to make my show – even better this year than it was last year. And then do you do you suggest, hey, what what about an old school postcard? What about wrapping elevator? There's there's on the the energy is going towards more on site. So if you could find ways to sponsor that coffee break mm-hmm. or wrap yes. that pillar. Yes. Or like we did last year at your booth, we actually had a party in the booth. Yeah, it cost a little bit more money uh, to go through the the show organizer, but that's okay because you, you, that's just a that's part of now I can guarantee 50 people and some great conversations Yeah, that could lead to stuff. So mm-hmm. I like that. Yep. That's a wrap. Thank you for listening to Creative Spaces Podcast. For more information about Highway 85 Creative, visit us at highway85creative.com.